Welcome back everyone, my name is Joe and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own Minecraft server on your home PC at home. So then let's get started. So first of all you want to go to the video description and click on the link taking you to minecraft.net where you'll download the server jar. So once you've click on, clicked on that it will take you to this page. So this is the official website for Minecraft. So everything is legit on this page. So then we need to go down to the download and then you need to click on the green link uh, minecraft underscore server dot one dot thirteen dot jar. Now in the future if you watch this video a little bit later on where minecraft has released a different update or a, a different alteration of uh, 1.13 so normally they'll like let, just like they did with 1.12 so they've done 1.12.2, 1.12.3 and so on but it all follows the same process just remember that. Now, once you click on this link, it will download a server.jar. We're going to press keep. And if that server.jar downloads as a zip file, I'll show you later on in the video on how to change that back to a jar file. So we're going to pop this onto the desktop. We're going to make a folder for all our server files to go into. So I'm just going to type in Minecraft server. We're going to drag and drop the file into there. And then all we need to do is double click on the jar farm now you will see it flash really quickly and then go away there you go it flashed and gone away now we need to accept the EULA agreement so the end user license agreement so we're going to open this up and we're going to change uh, false from uh, to true and then we can save it and then uh, we're going to double click on the server.jar again to reboot the server up now there are two ways to do actually do this. Now if this way doesn't work, I will show you another way uh, how, on how to start up your server. So as you see here, it is generating the server. So I'll just make that a little bit bigger so we can see what's happening. Now to stop this once is done, because I'm going to show you a different way, but you won't need to do this. So that's done now, but I will show you another way on how to start it up. So hopefully you won't need to do this way, but um, if you do, hopefully this will fix the problem if that didn't work for you. So if you have a way to uh, start up your service, you want to copy this line of text just here. And then you want to make a text document. And then we're going to open that up in just normal notepad. Paste this in. Now it's very important that your uh, jar, um, sorry, uh, your server.jar name matches the one in here. So at the moment it says Minecraft underscore server dot uh, 1.13. So we need to change that. So these two names exactly match as you can see here. So we're going to save and then, uh, oh, no, sorry, we're not going to save. We're going to save as. And then we're going to save as and then we can name it whatever we want. So I'm just going to call mine run as long as you put dot bat bat on the end. So we're going to save it just like that and it's made a new file. We can get rid of this old one. Now, if you can't see your dot jars underneath here, you can actually change your view and uh, click on um, file, exten um, sorry, file name extensions. So if I get rid of that, you can't see them anymore, view. Now you can see them. So if you're getting a bit confused with that, that's how you can fix that. But now we've got this uh, run.bat, we can open this up, uh, black console this time. And it's now running a different code to start up the server. And there we go, it's booted up. It just takes a little bit longer that time, but now that's started. So you can run your Minecraft server like that, but most of you will be running um, your server like uh, this. So we're just going to double click on the jar file. So if you don't need the run.bat, you just double click on the jar file. And we're just going to wait for that to load. So while that's loading up, we're going to go into Minecraft. So as you see, it's loaded up. So we're going to op ourselves to start off with. So we're going to give ourselves uh, min administration access. So I'm just going to type my name into there. There we go. We've opted myself, and now while we're waiting for Minecraft to load, so it is good, good practice to maybe restart your server first time. Uh, you know, because you can always type stop in here to shut down your server. Best way to do it. Right now, Minecraft has started up. Now we can go to multiplayer, direct connect, and type in the IP localhost and press connect. So as you see here, I'm joining world. And there we go, we are in our brand new Minecraft world. Now because I've given myself uh, uh, operators access, you could say, we can actually set our game mode. So I've added a brand new command system in what I'm not used to yet. Oh no, wrong one. So uh, I want to go to creative, there we go. And now we are in creative mode, we can fly around in our brand new Minecraft world.
Now, if you wanted to de-op yourself or de-op somebody, all it would be is de-op pod number. Well, I've de-opted the wrong person there. It doesn't exist, but you can do it just like that. So then, that's how you make your Minecraft server. Now, let's do some troubleshooting. So some of you might have run into a few problems. So we're just going to stop the server. So stop. There we go. Close the server down. Now then, we are going to go on to the troubleshooting section of this video. Now, if your server didn't start up on either way, there's two things you can do. Well, one major thing you can do to start off with is to check if your Java is up to date. So I'm just going to search for Java in my search uh, console down here. And then we're going to go to the update tab and update now. Now, I actually updated my Java to the latest version uh, about two days ago of recording this video. So I know it's already up to date, but that is one handy thing to check with. So if that doesn't work, um, we need you need to maybe try some other situations, but there are plenty of places to help you on the internet to, uh, to go through troubleshooting. Now for the people who get zip file problems, so sometimes they'll get their jar file looking like this. So I'm just gonna purposely change the um, jar file to look something different. So as you see there, my jar file looks like a zip file now. So all we gotta do is go to, oh, let me just uh, do it from beginning. So we're going to uh, right click properties, then we need to go open with, and we're going to choose a new thing to open it with, and that is Java. Click, and we're going to go apply, and that's all good. Now you've got a Java file looking like a Java file. So hopefully this has helped. Now if you do want to port forward to let friends on, I will link a video down in the description taking you to uh, a good tutorial from a different person on a different channel. Um, problem with uh, port forwarding it's different for everyone so I haven't bothered attempting to make a tutorial because it'd be very complicated but uh, there is a good tutorial what I link everyone to so hopefully that will help you but anyway guys thank you for watching make sure you subscribe like favorite go and follow me on uh, Twitter and I will see you next time bye bye guys